Are we ready? Are we ready? Hey, eh? what do you reckon? Let's go. Let's go, Mossy, Brandon. And what are you hiding for? You think you're gonna get left behind? Good old boy. I've got one esky with lures in it, so that that's kept separate. Drill, landscaping screws. And I've got the esky here that I keep my traps in. What are you doing? So all these traps, so all these traps here have been run through the uh, tannin and bought, just been boiled, simmered down, cleaned up. Before I started, I pressure washed them all. The chains, ties, foamies, everything I need. Even a crazy mutt. Yeah, you. He just doesn't want to miss out. It's just so good to be out in the bush here again. Uh, my time over in British Columbia was fantastic. Just, just a dream come true. But to be out here trapping again in this range country is just fantastic. What's that, Mossy? What's that, Mossy? What's that, Mossy? Mossy? No, 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 Mossy. Okay. So, when I come out, like, first morning, first day around the trap line, I just try and get an idea of, of what we're looking at. Now, here... You can see the cows are still fairly skinny, right? It's been pretty dry, pretty tough winter. They had 48 millimetres of rain here mm. uh, a week and a half ago. And uh, it's just sprouted that nice green pick. But the, the cows are still weak. Uh, a lot of calves on the ground here now. Just newborn. So that'll mean there'll be a lot of placentas around, a lot of, um, you know, afterbirth that those dogs can pick up easily uh, and there'll be an occasional dead calf there's always a stillborn calf somewhere that that teaches them basically what they can eat and for a dog there's nothing more exciting than a little baby calf that's squealing and hollering uh, they love the chase there's, there's, you can't deny that they really love to chase something down and kill it uh, that's in the nature of the beast so all these things add up. What I'll do is I'll get up here to a, uh, a saddle where the valley's neck in and uh, there's a nice pass through and let's see if there's good tracks there. And also we'll get up on top of the range where if the dogs have gone back off the flats and they go up on the range, it'll be the main travel track through. So we'll try and pick a few uh, pinch points and uh, set up there. You are having a bit of a domestic, are we, you pair? Yeah? Here, to me, is a great pass-through area. It's sort of like the easiest way for a dog to get out of this valley. He's coming up out of this valley and dropping out in, the in towards the neighbour's place. This would be the logical place for him to go, but it might not be where they're going to go. Let's see if we can see any tracks. Okay, we've got Guana. And this is the home of goannas. Cattle, plenty of cattle. Okay, I've trapped there before. Caught one dog there two years ago. Chancy. Show me. What you got? And let's see what tracks that these dogs are leaving. At the moment, they're leaving nothing. You would not see where they've been. There's an old scat there. Right, that's an old mark. Mossy indicated that. Brandon, come. Brandon. Yeah. 
Look at this little girl sniff. Took a bit of chip off the old block. Good girl. What do you got? What do you got? Good girl. He's indicating pretty hard on that. Yeah, he's indicating here. Oh yeah. Big dog turkle there. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, good boy. Good girl, good girl. And they've both gone and indicated on that tussock as well. Indicating on the tree. Mossy's just checking everything. She's checking that tussock. Okay, it's pretty obvious. The dogs that are going through here are not leaving many tracks. Now look where my dogs are walking and the ground isn't just not leaving tracks on this type of uh, sand at the moment. So, yeah, let's set up here. Let's set up at least two traps on top of this hill. Hopefully the cattle won't wreck them and uh, see what we can turn up. Okay, I'll set two traps here. I'm gonna put one here where this big fresh scat is. It'll be right out in the open. I'll just screw it down. Hopefully cattle won't wreck it but I'll, I'll put a bit of urine over the top of it so that uh, a dog that knows he's left it there as a, as a signpost comes back and said, you know, says, who marked over the top of me? Try and get that dog to go and inspect that side again. Well, I'm up here at a really good little spot. I've caught probably two dogs in the past here. So a big valley goes down this way, comes up to a saddle and drops over. A big cattle pad goes back that way. Another one goes back this way. So it's a really good spot for a dog to be moving through. Uh, a lot of cattle here, a lot of cows and calves. But uh, I can't see any sign on the, on the track at all. So what I'll do is I'll get the dogs to come out here now and just have a look around, see what they indicate. Your dogs. Hunt him up. Brandon. Good girl, what do you find? What do you find? You find him. Good girl. What a hunter. She's a good little hunter, this one. I don't see any scats yet. Normally, if there's dogs traveling through, there'll be some scats. Or tracks. Nothing in the rain. Make your dad proud. What you got? Something to go see your eye, mate. Hey, you gotta clean your act up, Brandon. You gotta clean your act up, one buddy. You're off a dog now. Right, that was just. Um, just had an issue then. I <clears throat> go along on a piece of lantana, flicked off the side of the window, flick around, hit me right across the eyeball. I go. Oh, that hurts. Hopefully, there's no damage. Oh, gee whiz. And hurt. I broke it off, but that just come whipping around. Pushed back by the window, and then it went whack straight across the eye. It's part of the game. Part of the game. So I must go on. But uh, yeah, hope it's done no damage. Such is life, said Ned. Now, those of you that watch all of my clips uh, will recognise this place here. We caught two dogs there on our last program down here. Um, two days apart in the same trap, same spot. So I'm just going to set up exactly the same as what I did last time. 
I haven't looked even to see whether there is a track here, whether there's another dog working through this area or not. Um, I'm just going to put a trap here and see what happens. Okay, I've put my safety glasses on. I should have had them on before. I've uh, basically now got a big, a big line across my eye. I can hardly see out of my right eye now. Uh, it's all sort of matted up. I've got some drops in it, but uh, yeah, it's slowing me down a little bit. I think there'll be a few up here top end so we'll probably set a uh, series of three or four traps in this spot and see if we can nail one down if we can get one we'll probably get more we'll probably get a second and a third so let's go look for some tracks right oh we're down at the creek where we caught one young dog here um, on the last program there's a dead cow just here in the creek Things look quite a bit different to what they uh, did then. But anyway, I've put a um, one trap in here. Hopefully the cattle won't wreck it. I've sort of tucked it away in under the um, tussocks there a little bit and put some um, some bitch urine up in the um, in the tussock itself. So they've got to actually go right in there to, to sniff at it. Hopefully that'll keep the cattle away from it. We shall see. You're an idiot. You are. You're a sniffer and a licker, Brandon. Yeah, you're a sniffer and a licker. That's who you are. Now we saw a, uh, a big black dog here on the last program. He was up on this rise. And when we saw him, he was watching us as we drove into the paddock and uh, could not get a smack at him with the rifles. We got to about 70 metres of him. I had a trap there for the whole program and not a sign. But I'll try and set up for the dog, thinking that this dog could be still here. So let's try and set up for him. Again, this is a very difficult situation here to handle. We've got a lot of cattle here, young calves. Uh, the dog does not have to stick on the tracks. It's quite open. Uh, although if he's coming through in a hurry, they tend to stick on the tracks. Uh, I'm looking for the best pinch point. Let's say this dog's coming out of these big ranges He's coming through here. Got one set up the creek that's that's good. But I'd like to have one or two more here in yeah, pinch points where there's a fair chance of that animal coming through. I'll just sit here and reflect on it for a while. Okay, I've come down here to this cutting that goes around the side of the hill. It's nearly the highest spot where we saw this this dog last time and uh, yeah Chansey was very interested in this tussock over here so what I might do is just put a trap in on the edge of the bank in there screw it in and just put some scent up there so if a dog's coming along the scent should waft across the road and uh, just give me a walk up around there with a bit of luck Mossy's sniffing something what do you got Mossy? It's difficult to know where to put a trap in at the moment. I cannot find a track. I cannot find a fresh track anywhere. Not one. But I know the animals will be here. The dogs will be here, but they might not be down at the moment. They might be way back. Uh, do I just keep going till I find good sign and then set hard there, or do I leave a trail of traps behind me? That's sort of what I prefer doing, is just set traps where I think they'll have an effect 
and uh, where it's got a good chance of, of picking up a dog that travels through. Uh, but yeah, it could be wasting a lot of time and effort because you've got to come around and check those traps every day, uh, which could be taking me away from country where the dogs are. So I won't put too many, I'll just put sort of singles as I go, one here and one there until I feel I've got a little bit of a pattern behind us and we'll go searching for tracks. Mossy's doing her bit. Good girl, Mossy. She's got a great nose on her. Look at her. Good girl. Last, fresh dog tracks coming through here. Good stuff. What have we got here? Cattle have been through. Dog track there and there. Perkin Mossy. Fresh ones there. What do you got, Mossy? Hold him up. Hold him up, Mossy. See, Mossy, that's a good one, is it? I reckon so. Tracks there, there. Good girl. Okay, I've tried hard at this crossing for about three programs and uh, got a few goannas, and uh, that was about it. But we did catch dogs either side of here, and I think this is a really good pass through. So let's set up, I think we'll set three traps here. This is a really top spot. All right, let's get the show on the road. Come on. Come on, little girl. Then those are fogged up. How are you, darling? How are you, darling? Hey? How are you, darling? Oh, Brandon, you're right. Okay, okay, I got lots of loving going on this morning. Lots of loving going on this morning. Hey? I'll get out. Lots of heat. Get your bum out of it. Come on. Come on. Sort yourselves out, you pair. There's madness at the start of the day. They all get so excited. We're going somewhere, they reckon. We're going to go and get a dingo. Tell me if I hit anything there. He said I can't back and film and breathe all at the same time. Now every morning I try and get on the internet if I've got any reception at all. And uh, I just try and answer a lot of the comments that come through from you guys and gals. I really do appreciate that. Uh, the good ones and the bad ones. We get some people here that are just straight narcissists and that's... That's okay, whatever turns their wheels. But uh, I appreciate the people that have good constructive comments, uh, criticisms, uh, you name it, it's all, all good. Uh, but uh, yeah, if I can get into the internet, I try and do that. There's something a bit along the track here. What's that mean? Yeah, just birds in the dust. Garbage that people leave. It pees me off. I come along here, beautiful part of the country, and these people who want to claim to be the owners and the custodians and that of this great land here, they come along. I saw them here last night. They come along here and they leave the bloody rubbish right where they were. Okay, they've done that since day one, right? Eh? But uh, yeah, 
pick your bloody junk up. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, answering comments. It's always good. Uh, flick you know, some comments back to people. And uh, yeah, one comment there was from a guy was, why do you, why do you um, load your rifle cack handed? You know, you seem to be sort of folding from one side to the other to you know, reach over to cock your rifle. And that's because this is a one man band. No, oh, well, one man, a few dogs, hey. I've got to drive, film, drink coffee, and think. All at the one go. Okay, we're coming into this first trap set here by the big tree. Nothing. Last few times we've been here, we've tried howling from this top of the hill, and each time we've got replies. One time there we had that black dog come in up the top of the holler, and we didn't get a, uh, a shot at it. Came close. So uh, let's see if they want to talk this morning. I've been here for about 20 minutes now. Owl three times. Should have got a, an answer if there's dogs here. Beautiful ranges like here. If there's not a dog in there, there's something wrong. Either they're not talking, either they're silent and they're there, or at the moment, there's no dogs in this particular stretch of range. And that could be. But that then gives me a little bit of an idea for setting traps. I could go here and set you know, 10, 15 traps in this area. And there could be no dogs here at all. Uh, so it doesn't hurt in this sort of country to give a few howls because it gives you a bit of an indication where things are. And if they are talking to you and you've got traps in and you howl at them and then back off, there's a good chance that those dogs are going to come down and see what you're howling about and they'll be around your track. Blow me down. Got the vehicle, drove over the top of the ridge. And here's a dog down here by these two calves. He just fleeted over the top of the hill. Coming in silent, not a sound out of that dog, big yellow dog. Righto, so I've got a trap down here. Um, not far away from this dog at all. It was a bit unfortunate. Probably should have waited a little bit longer down there. The yellow dog come in, but anyway, we'll go over here, we'll check this next trap. We might have had a buddy around here somewhere. It doesn't look like much. Well, I spoke too soon. Look at this. What's that, Brandon? Way to start the program, Brandon, eh? You got him. You got him, Brandon. <coughs> Old faithful. Empty in it from yesterday. Live in today. Chancy, hurry him up. <laughs> okay, it's good to pick up a dog that early in the uh, in the program, and uh, the other one that would have been its mate. So I've howled it. That's why it probably didn't howl back because it already knew that something was going on. It came in pretty silent, but uh, 
pretty fair chance we'll pick the second one up here in this trap as well. Mossy is learning the ropes. Good girl, good girl. Here, Mossy, come, Mossy, come. Mossy, come. And that's where you indicated, Chancy boy. Well done. Well done, mate. Good boy. <laughs> Good girl, daughter of old Skunky. Yes, you've got the same talent. Good girl. Up, up, Brandon. Up, up, Brandon. Brandon, up, up. Mossy. Up, up. What have we got here? A bitch. Yep, yeah, just had a litter. Good stuff. A little bit of age, grey around the. The uh, jaws there. Good start. Great start. One for one so far. We've only checked three traps. Now this was a good test for those uh, manscaping screws. In there. Two of them. They have not moved. I'd use those again. Good stuff.